Hey guys, Aaron here, bushhoggingservices.com. Uh, starting a new job today, actually started last night, only did a couple hours, but uh, this is about a 19 acre horse pasture property. And uh, the owner says it hasn't been cut in six months. And when I look at this, and you can look behind me, it makes me wonder if six months is accurate, but we have had a lot of rain in Florida, so it may very well be. Um, so, the question is, you know, what did I think about the job and what did I price it? So at this 19 acres, I charged $3,500. And how did I come up with that price? Uh, I look at the number of trees. And if you look over my shoulder there, you'll see that there are quite a few trees on the property, which means now we got to slow down and cut around those trees, which adds time. Uh, if it was just a field like we see out there, and it was just straight cutting, $100 an acre and uh, we're good to go. But when you look at the debris and things up around the house and having to cut around the house uh, and all these other things that are, and all these uh, fence rows that divide the property into different segments, uh, it's gonna add a lot of time. And the homeowner is not here in town. Uh, they are an out of state homeowner. And uh, consequently, a lot of the oaks have dropped their branches and have fairly good sized logs that have fallen off. Now we gotta cut around those and uh, move some logs to the burn pile, things like that. So, you know, it's gonna be uh, probably at least a two day job for two people. And when you think about the productivity uh, rate that you wanna have per person per day, then, you know, that is not out of line. The other thing is that I had to, or I decided to rent a zero turn mower. It's the first time I've ever operated one or used one. And uh, I'm pretty impressed actually. Uh, uh, it's going through a lot of this stuff, and, and if you look behind me, you'll see what this stuff is, right? It's grass, it's uh, weeds and stuff like that, and it's eating that stuff up pretty well. It made me rethink whether or not a zero turn is a better choice than a small mower or a small tractor with another bush hog, because um, with the zero turn, I can have somebody circling the trees, running the fence rows, things like that, that allow me on the tractor to come in and move much faster and more efficiently. I'm not doing a lot of backing, right? And we know when you're cutting around trees on a tractor, it's like a six point turn to cut all the way around a tree, which is hugely inconvenient. So um, a zero turn mower that has enough horsepower, the, and I said, give me the biggest one you got. And this is what they gave me. It's a gravely uh, 60 inch cut, I think it is. So uh, pretty good size and it's getting through this stuff. And there are some bigger, more powerful mowers, which, uh, you know, my philosophy is the bigger, the better. You can never add horsepower after the fact. You can only use less of what you have. So, you know, uh, I always buy as big of a uh, machine as I can possibly afford uh, to get the job done. And it's just, obviously you use less fuel. It's easier on the uh, machine if you're not bogging it down constantly, et cetera, et cetera, get a better cut. So uh, we're getting started today. I actually have to go do another job. It's a more of a heavy duty uh, cutting. I'm gonna cut, cut some palmettos and then I'm gonna bring the tractor back over here and get busy on these fields because man, these things are big. The, uh, the next investment I really need to make is a 12 foot or more uh, batwing uh, mower. And the reality is that, you know, if it's three times as wide as my current little six footer, uh, I should make one third the passes with that, which is gonna save fuel, but more importantly, it's gonna save a lot of time. And uh, that's, the, that's the big thing. But I mean, a 12 footer is like $13,000, $14,000 new. So it's pretty significant uh, to pull the trigger on that. And I just bought a 35 plus five trailer gooseneck to go along with my truck. So, you know, I wanna pay for some of these things before I get too far down the road on uh, keep adding equipment. but. Um, Got to get out of here, get over to the other job, get that done, and then get back over here. So we'll see you back here, yeah, midday, and we'll get some more footage, and we'll go from there. See you guys. Here we are going to the back of the house. And the homeowner's been out here helping us, so she asked us to help fix a belt on her little John Deere because she's out picking up wood in front of us which is helping us and we got tim here today say hi tim you're hey, on man. youtube we're gonna make you famous <laughs> yeah. tim's my cohort in crime on these jobs so uh they asked us to help fix the belt and tim should be qualified after 30 years of 
airline maintenance uh, well, expertise. It's, it's, a, it's a belt. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Here's the mower that we rented, which seems to be working fine. Uh, pretty cool to drive. All right, what are we doing? It's really going to lift it up much. Just lift the back, set yeah, it on there. Two yeah, pins and the, it drops like this uh -huh. to access all that, but we're only going to raise it that much. Okay. So um, bring some cinder blocks or something. Hey, good morning, everybody. Aaron, Bush Hogging Services. So we're back out at this 19 acre job that we started and we've had a change of events. And uh, what that is, is the customer found a tenant to come in and rent the uh, property. So she wanted us to stop working on the job. And now the question becomes, what do we charge her for what we have done? And uh, you'll look behind me and you'll see, this was uh, the nasty side of the property. So it was slow, it was full of wood. You can see that burn pile there. You can see another pile over there, there was actually a huge tree in that that had to get moved. And uh, it took two of us most of the day just to do this area. We also did down this road and up around a good portion of the house. Um, so we had the effort of coming out here, uh, bringing all the equipment, all that stuff and spending really what amounted to about, um, you know, uh, let's see, be, one, two, three, about four man days worth of work out here. And um, I know what I'm gonna run into with this lady uh, is that she's going to argue that she should be paying a fourth of the price or you know something like that. But um, you know, if this wasn't such a, a mess on that side, then uh, we would have been able to go a lot faster and probably do this side. Well, I come back today and a lot of this side is now being cut uh, by somebody. And if you look down there, that used to be all grown up and is now all cut uh, by somebody, not us, uh, which is, you know, the owner of the property is gonna say, well, you didn't do it. And, you know, I don't wanna pay you as much as, um, you know, we should be getting paid. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Um, I have since gone and created a service agreement that addresses cancellations and uh, to make sure that, you know, if we go this far in a job, if you decide to cancel, that's okay. Uh, but, um, you know, there's a big cost for us to get to this point in these jobs. And uh, if you decide that you want to go some other route or you want to work some other deal with somebody else, then, you know, that's okay. But we still need to get paid for... Uh, not only just the physical work that we did, but for the time and effort to get out here and make things happen for you. Uh, you know, this job, and you even look down this road, this road was four feet, five feet high with grass. Now it was looking great. She was in a big rush because she was down here from out of state to get this done. Uh, I left my day job to come up here on a Friday and rented a mower that day and got busy on exactly this for her to get her going so um, she could get a lot of this done. And consequently, you know, that work led to her uh, getting a tenant in here. So now she's making money on her property, which is great because, you know, she wins, uh, we should win as well. And um, so today I'm here just to pick up the tractor and head out and uh, get back to my farm and get busy on some things I gotta get done and uh, get ready for the next job. In a couple weeks, we got another 15 acre uh, parcel that we're gonna be getting done. So um, I'll be wrapping this one up and we'll see you on the next one.